Onsong is known around the world as the best way to go paperless with your music on stage. Musicians have discovered the benefit of using Onsong to pick sets and transpose their chord charts and music in live situations. Using a variety of foot pedals makes it easy to do all of this hands-free. MIDI integration is a powerful tool when you know how to use it. If you're new to MIDI, check out our MIDI overview video to learn what MIDI is and how you can connect your devices to Onsong. If you're all set, let's see some ways you can integrate MIDI into your musical performances with Onsong. Imagine this, you swipe to the next song in your set and your keyboard patch and guitar effects are automatically set. As you move from verse to the chorus of your song, your guitar switches from clean to overdrive. Your keyboard changes patches or your effects processing is switched, right on cue. It may seem like science fiction, but Onsong can easily do this and much more. Let's take a look. If you have the MIDI add-on enabled, you can set MIDI to be sent by simply tapping and holding on a section of the song. In this example, we tap and hold on the title of the song to open a list of MIDI events to be sent when the song is viewed. If you turn on the Acquire Events from MIDI Devices switch at the bottom, OnSong will listen for MIDI events and place them in the list. Alternately, you can tap on the plus button on the upper right hand corner to add a new MIDI event. Here, we choose Program, pick a channel, and then a program. This is useful for switching the patch used on a keyboard or an effects processor, like Jam Up Pro. You can also set the bank in which the program is located using the optional Bank MSB and Bank LSB selections. Consult your MIDI device documentation for how to change patches. Once you are done, tap the Done button to add the event to the list. You can continue to add additional MIDI events to be sent as needed for other devices or configurations. Now, when we load the song or switch to it in a set, Onsong will send out those MIDI commands and reconfigure your equipment or apps. You can also tap and hold on the section in Onsong to set MIDI events to be sent when the section is reached. You can tap on a section to send MIDI events. You can also configure your foot pedals to progress by section by going into the foot pedal setup tool from the menu bar. By tapping the wrench icon in the lower left to access the settings and changing the scroll behavior to jump to section. Now, when you press the foot pedal, OnSong will move to the next or previous sections in the song. But what if you're running your show from a laptop running Ableton Live? With OnSong, you can configure your songs to appear when MIDI events are received like a program change from a keyboard or note events from Ableton Live. To set up your songs to be indexed by a MIDI event, choose a song from your library and go into the song editor. Tap on the eye icon to open the metadata editor. Then scroll to the MIDI section at the very bottom. From here, you can configure MIDI events to send and receive. You can choose send to add MIDI events to send to your song content. Let's tap receive to configure MIDI used to go to a specific song. From here, we can listen for MIDI to be received or tap on the plus button and add it manually. Let's add an A note to the first octave on channel 1. Tap Done and tap Off to the menu. OnSong will add a MIDI index meta tag to your song. 
tap done to save. You can do this to all your songs and then choose them at the proper time in your stage performance without ever touching the iPad or a foot pedal. So I hope this video tutorial has helped you guys. Stay tuned for more video tutorials and product reviews. If you have any other questions, feel free to email us at support at onsongapp.com. Thanks guys, see ya.